So I got a bunch of possible logos. Some were, uh, how shall I put this gently? David Hume argued that beauty doesn't exist in things, but only in the minds that contemplate them. With that in mind, welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Some of your uglies are logos, and some of your beauties are logos. I mean, you gotta, you gotta switch those words around so that they make sense, okay? But it beckons the question, how does the brain interpret beauty. Do we accept Hume's idea and everyone is entitled to beauty? Or do we lean towards the teachings of Plato when he argued for some universal beauty? The first study of aesthetics of the brain began with wacky neurologist Heinrich Kluver. Kluver. It's like Cleaver, only with Hoover at the end. How would one go about studying the brain back in the day? Well, simple. You get a test group together, and you give them all mescaline. Mescaline? Yeah. It's a highly hallucinogenic drug. Kluver noticed that mescaline produced recurring geometric patterns in different users. He called these patterns form constants and categorized four types, including lattices, checkerboards, triangles, and spirals. <laughs> Those patterns can be found throughout history and across cultures. We see them in cave paintings, in the tiled mosaics of the Taj Mahal, in the medieval cathedrals of Europe, and even in modern day porn. Oh, get some. Science of today says that the neurons in the primary visual cortex occur in repeating structures called ocular dominance columns. These in turn are organized into hypercolumns, whose long range interconnections are arranged geometrically. WTF does that mean? Uh, the connections in your head are organized geometrically. And when your brain gets tweaked on mescaline, your brain turns into a type of Kaleidoscoper, making you wonder if Pluto wasn't right after all. Final summation, beauty, whatever it is, exists. Whether it's hardwired into our DNA by some geometric hypercolumns or culturally cultivated over time. I want to print it onto a t-shirt and wear it. So spend a little time creating beauty today and send it my way. And I'll see you Vincent Salvage tomorrow. That was pretty specific. Well, yeah. But I'm pretty sure that if I say his name right now, he'll probably watch tomorrow's show. So, you know. There you have it. Bye!